Hello YouTube, this is one of my favorite workout days, leg day. I mean, nobody likes leg day, I don't know why, but legs, it's a, it's a strong point for me. So, uh, as you've seen in my previous workouts, I do the, I use the Theragun, and mostly I hit it around my, my knees. I warm up my knees really well. I do um, a static stretch, I stretch the Achilles tendon. Then I do a dynamic stretch, which is just a moving stretch. I rotate my knees counterclockwise and clockwise. And then I do my warm-up. So I pick a weight I could do about 15 to 20 reps on. And I end up doing around 12. And I just check to make sure that I don't have any problems with my back or knees. Oh, I see the lockout. That's what you don't want to do. And I'm demonstrating that there. You just want to bring it up so my legs are not locked out. And that's a lockout. Lockout is no bueno. Don't do it. See, don't do it. You just want to go down deep and then come up. See, it's not locked, though. And there it is right there. It looks like it's locked, but it's not. So some uh, some things to consider when you're doing squats. You want to set up, and then you take a deep breath on the eccentric move. So that was the eccentric move right there. Coming down, I have a deep breath. I hold it, and I exhale as I come up on the cons on the concentric or the harder part. I contract um, my core muscles. I just I flex them. I keep them real tight. I keep my knees behind my toes. And then my knees are, are in line with my toes. So I, I kind of take a shoulder width stance. And that's because I like to hit the outer sweep of my, of my legs. And basically that's the vastus lateralis, the outer sweep of the legs. So I take a a slightly narrow stance than most people and my toes are slightly pointed out and my knees are in line with my toes. I flex my glutes and then I kind of imagine that I'm pushing through the floor and then I come up so I'm letting out the air on the on the concentric part right there and then I just push it up. Okay what you want to look out for are your knees are your knees buckling inward or outward and I'm not I'm not going to show that here it's too dangerous but you don't want your knees to go either too far out or, t or your knock knee too far in. And you don't want your heels rising up. Now, if you, if you find that you're having trouble with that, then you just need to drop the weight and have someone watch your form. Okay, now this is the um, concentrated lunges. And I don't know anybody who, who does these besides me. So I call them concentrated because I'm just focused on one leg, or actually it's one glute. See how, notice how I'm leaning a little bit forward there? And that's because it puts more stress on that left glute right there. There it is, left glute. And so I do it on the concentrated version of this exercise, and I just do about 10 to 12, and then I switch over to the other side and hit it about 10 to 12. Well, it looks like I'm just, I switched there. I'm coming back to the, to the left side. And I just push down, and I've not found any other exercise that works the glutes better than the concentrated lunges. These are just awesome. You're having trouble with your butt, or you want to stabilize your hips, this is the exercise for you. I love it. All right. Just keep doing it there. And right there is when I'm pushing out the air, sucking in the air, pushing out the air. All right. Ooh, they're singing. Yeah. Okay, now I'm moving right into the leg extension. A little trivia here. I'm not sure, but I think it was Jack LaLanne who actually got some cables and designed a prototype for the leg extension machine. I, I could be wrong. But I think it was him that actually designed this exercise. So on here, uh, I have a I have a lot of light weights. I keep this. I keep a lot of. I do a lot of high reps on this. I'm hitting around 15 to 20, and I bring it up. I squeeze it. Bring it down. Bring it up. Squeeze it, and I just burn it out. When you feel the burn, you got at least five more in you. So just push them out. There it is. Squeeze it. Yeah. There it is. I'm not sure why I did that, but I, I, ju I just did. <laughs> Maybe I was trying to relieve the tension. I don't know. 
but there it is right there so I can't really stack too much weight so I just have to work with what I got when you have a home gym it's kind of what you can creatively come up with and still get a good workout and I'm lucky because my legs are naturally big for my body so I don't have to hit them that hard okay now we're switching to the leg curl all right I'm not going to be stingy here show it there are the hamstring muscles. You bring it up, extend it down. Now I'm kind of breaking parallel right there, and that's fine. I, I don't care. I'm getting a full extension and contraction, and I, I'm good with it. And I just bring it up there, bring it down, and you can't see, but the bench is not flat anymore. I can actually angle it down. So there it is. You can see the angle right there. So I reach down. Here we go. Got to wear those shorty shorts. Curl it up. I do my best to keep my butt down, but sometimes, you know, especially when I'm on my last couple of reps, it's going to come up. It's not going to ruin anything. You'll be fine. Just bring that up. There we are. Yeah, these can sing too. Oh, I also stretch my hamstrings really well, along with my quads, during my static stretch. And like with all my exercises, I like to superset them. So in this case, it was uh, I like to squat, then do the concentrated lunges, leg extensions, followed by the leg curls, and then I'll finish off again with squats. And so I'll do that for three more evolutions, and that's my workout. Usually I like to go you know, for a long run or sprint, but today I'm just going to chill out in the backyard and get some sun. So I'll get about 15 minutes each side. And of course I'm wearing white gloves. I don't want to tan my hands. You don't need to do that. Cover your face as well. And so that's how I'm going to close this out. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks and have a great day.